Okay. <laughs> and we've got Pilatus, who personally knows the Loch Ness Monster. Quid, who plays a great game of handball. Rex Imperius, who once skippered a shrimp boat on Lake Michigan. All right. Well, um, Pilatus is... Um... Pilatus is just cool. Yeah. Look at that rainbow on him. And the Pilatus... Of all of these characters, I made a joke about Pokemon before, but I can see him being a, some sort of collectible monster. Yeah, he's got a pretty bitchin' pompadour there. Yeah. Quid looks like if Garfield himself was a squid. That's, yeah, yeah. You know, can you imagine how different it would be if it was about John the marine biologist and Garfield, his squid? Didn't Our they, only yeah. thought is to entertain you. Feed me. It would, yeah, it's like, uh, just feed him pounds of shrimp and his <laughs> awful, like, I monster love beef. seafood lasagna. Yeah. Rex Imperius is just cool looking, I think. I love, his, I love his mohawk. I love his little night visor. I love that he's saluting. Like, yeah, well, yes, Sir Garfield. The, shrimp, the shrimping business, you know. And it <laughs> says he once skippered a shrimp Oh, boat, once. So, just once. Uh, actually, I'm wondering if that means he's like, He's like retired. He's like when you go to well, your go to go to your uh, grandpa's uh, rest home and you meet some old guy called yeah. the Colonel, who's like, well, yeah, I went skipper the shrimp boat on the sick on Lake Michigan. Well, very clearly here, Rex Imperius, by his bearing and his name, is ex-military. Yes, um, and I think really what we're getting here is he is uh, basically Quint from Jaws. Oh man, yeah. There's something about a Quid's eyes. Yeah. Also, Black and white eyes, like a Garfield's eyes. <laughs> you know, speak, Garfield is squid now. I'm just, you're making me think of Garfield attacking a sperm whale. Oh, God. <laughs> a sperm whale with a giant tongue hanging yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> Spaldergoth, whose nickname is Blinky. Tragoon, who collects leaves. Oogal, or maybe Ugal, who is its own best friend. Okay. There's a lot to unpack on this one. So, um, Spaldergoth is uh, clearly the standout of the entire book so yes. far. Um, he is, first he's ripped. Yes. Um, but he has his giant single eyeball and his nostrils on his chest. Like one of those medieval, like, um, uh, anthropophages or oh, something? Oh, 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 I know the one you mean. Uh, no. You know what they're oh, called. Uh, what are they? They're called Blemias. There you go, Blemias. yes. Those guys. Um, those, he's got these giant horns, which are pretty cool. They look like they'd be really dangerous to have poking toward your eye. Yes. Maybe he has to get them filed off regularly so he, so he doesn't. But the well, thing that stands out to me, he's got a cutie mark. Oh, does he now? And it's huh. in the shape of a sailboat. Interesting. So, um, maybe he was on that shrimp boat with uh, Imperius oh, Rex. Oh, wow. Wow. We're, we're inventing a interesting yeah. little... Or, you know, uh, it, it's possible. Could it, it? It's also possible that, that he's got a, it's a... Could it be a brand? Oh, and he's actually oh some yeah. Sort of, um, Good point. Of a herd and a meat animal? Yeah. Which wouldn't also might maybe that's why he's got these improbable horns because he's been bred. Oh. Uh, you know, through uh artificial um, you know, breeding programs. Yeah. The, be the best, meatiest, uh buffest um Maybe they're animal. just raised for the eye. Oh yeah. Oh Lord. Ooh, ooh. Well, you know, people eat eyes in certain oh, places. No. That got kind of dark. I prefer Sorry. the I prefer the cutie yes, mark yes, interpretation. Yes. He he and Imperius Rex have a history. Let's yeah, he's got that. A, yeah, he was a yeah he was a sailor. He's wearing the colors of a sailor. At oh least. yeah, yeah. Tragoon, there doesn't seem to be much to. He's. Do you think he's a lizard or do you think he's something else? Oh, uh, he's pretty much like a lizard man. I think. Yeah. He's, he's a. You know, central casting lizard man. Yeah, he's yeah, he's like a, a sleeve stack. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Or maybe, oh, maybe he's called Tragoon because he's from the island of Rangoon. Oh, well. Well, maybe he's he could be called that because he just loves eating uh, crab Rangoons. Oh, well, call me Tragoon then. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh, what time is it? Oh, it's too late to go get crab Rangoon. <laughs> we'll have to go to the all night crab ra rangoonitaria. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, if you had an all night Chinese buffet, yeah. it would probably be a huge hit. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. it's down down in the you know the Rangoon district. <laughs> um, oh, also, by the way, I do want to also mention uh, before going further, Spaldergoth is the best name in this whole thing. Spaldergoth. Um, <laughs> I love how Garfield is writing him. <laughs> yeah. 
So we got Oogle. Okay, what is going? You know, so is it called Oogle, like Oogle, like ogling, ogling one another, or is it Oogle, like Oh you gal? I love my wife, well, but Oh you gal. Uh, there's, there's. Um, do you, do you think that it takes two of them to reproduce, but they're constantly cheating on each other with themselves? Well, it's probably like a. Uh, I assume it's like a what, a plant. This is probably some sort oh. of you know hermaphrodite situation. You got the sporophytes and gametophytes. Oh, or something okay. going on in a single being. I'm, I'm, I, I would assume. All we have to go by is the fact that one has eyelashes and one doesn't. Well, in 1980s comic yeah. parlance, that in that's, part, you yeah. know, when you're a cartoon character, eyelashes are a secondary sex characteristic. Yeah, yeah. They both have the little like two tufts of hair. Yes. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. Maybe those are uh, maybe those are manipulators. Maybe they maybe oh. one of them can use the other as an arm. Is is Oogle a bird? They don't have a beak. No, it doesn't have a beak. It's got uh, fleshy lips. Okay, so, but, yeah. Hmm. And, and we finally, we've got Vecusaurus, who likes to tidy up the cage. Wild Spam, who watches too much television. Snail, who climbs skyscrapers. Wow, okay. Um, I think I spoke too soon with uh, Spaldergoth on the last page. <laughs> Which is the best name? Oh, um, I'm going to go with, oh gosh. I, uh, these are all great names. These are really good. I'm going to go with Vacusaurus here, uh, just because uh, it it says what it is. Yes. The Saurus part surprises me. It doesn't look reptilian at all. No, but it puts me in mind of rocks and bugs and things. So oh, like oh it. yeah, yeah. Um, I love the sucker feet. Yeah. Broom tail, vacuum nose, and look at all the attachments it's yeah, got. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's like that thing in Yellow Submarine, you know? Yeah. Um, I also, what I find interesting is he's got this giant, like, vacuum bag uh, growth uh, sticking out of his butt. So it just looks like he eats stuff through his, um, his tube mouth. And uh, what is that filled with? Yeah. yeah. Aren't, isn't there, like, a, a larva that does that, that uh, keeps its previous skin on its... Arpature, so it can just hit bugs or whatever that try to attack it with that and have them clean up the mess. It I, sounds legit. Yeah, so, uh, oh, wow, what do you think preys on a Vacusaurus? Oh, um, it would clearly... What, what, what eats vacuum cleaners in real life? <laughs> uh, you scared me there! <laughs> um, clearly, uh... <laughs> I, I wrote a... Did you write a fanfic about that? No, I wrote a poem when I was a kid where the, we were like being challenged to make up new metaphors. Mm -hmm. And I wrote and I wrote that something was as big as a vacuum cleaner pie. Um, it would be pretty big. Well, uh, <laughs> that's a simile. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. By hero logic. Frankenstein was the metaphor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Berenstain was the scientist. <laughs> you and Baron Berenstain, yes, Bear with the, with Bear Berenstain uh, in this universe. So we got Wild Spam. Wild now. Spam. I love Wild Spam. It was one of my favorites as a kid, and I'm just it's it's just a cube. So it's. Basically, Do you think it has any features on the underside? I think it has uh, hundreds and hundreds of tiny little suckers. Starfish. Like starfish. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, though it also has a mouse tail, which is interesting. Yes. And antlers, which uh, come out of opposite um, faces of the cube. Well, if we're saying that it has that it has starfish feet, then maybe it also has starfish eyes growing on the ends of the antlers. Oh, that would so make that would sense. be how it watches too much television. Yes. The only that would make sense. Um, so my, I guess the only other possibility I would say for wild spam is a giant single gastropod foot. Oh, either I would be I would be fine with either one of those interpretations. Although if that's the case, the, there'd also have to be like a single uh, orifice for. Um, intake and excretion like oh a yeah or a sea urchin yeah um, probably like to eat just vomit out uh wild spam stomach <laughs> onto things um and this seems to be uh this is the page where we talk about unusual eating patterns yes um so, so snail okay there's the it's 
kind of just a snail, but it's got four monkey legs, monkey arms. Yeah. And look at that proboscis. It's like a weevil. Yeah. So it so not only is it boring, but it bores. Oh, 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 man, I really stuck it to that snail. I wouldn't want to be snail right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's, his face is so red. Oh, man, it's well, his hands. Is. Yeah. <laughs> One of my other personal favorites, Yaguk, who just doesn't understand much of anything, mm. and Zuni Bird, who giggles on the phone. <laughs> Having found an animal for every letter of the alphabet, Garfield awoke with a start. So Yugguk looks like a very classic Jim Davis. Yes, creation. it looks like it looks like Garfield's almost his self insert. Yeah, <laughs> Garf Garfield. Well, yeah, it's he like, just didn't understand much of anything that was happening. No, so. wow, well, no. I, I think we can all relate to that. It's very relatable. Yeah, and then we we've got Zuni Bird. Hmm. How is that a bird? I mean, it's got feathers and I guess a coxcomb. Um, yeah, but. It, Okay, Zuni Bird is is a mystery here because he's he's got like a poodle tail. Yeah, uh, looks uh, random horns. Yeah, very um, random horns, including a third one on his nose. Kind of looks like a Jackson's chameleon to yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, also, buck teeth, um, and uh, and he's got swoons. Yeah. Um, I would say, I would say he's called Zuni Bird because he's delicious. Because, and that way, if you're, if you're Catholic, you can eat them on Fridays. Wait, no, that's fish. Never mind. Wait, wait, wait. I'm still, I'm still trying to part. Like Zuni Fridays? <laughs> because I was thinking of how uh, certain things like uh, capybara and baby rabbits are classified as fish. So oh. they can be eaten on Fridays. But, oh. but I was like, oh, but no, bird didn't count. So Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I was thinking that mm. only applied to ungulates for some reason because mm. I was getting my uh, Catholic eating restrictions and my Jewish eating restrictions confused. Well, that does raise the question of how many of these animals are actually kosher. Good, I don't know. Uh, I guess it would depend on how many of them have cloven hooves. Uh, there are other spaldergoth. So spaldergoth as well. No, they're not cloven. No, they're not. So you can't eat spaldergoth. Okay. And you can't eat anything, and you can't eat uh, flap hopper because he's a bug. Right. And uh, let's see. And you can't eat, uh, you can't eat any carnivorous birds. Okay. So, uh, do you? Which birds have we seen? Do you think? Well, Cack is a hog collar, so I'm pretty sure yeah. he's carnivorous. Yeah, that seems so, wrong. So he's. So you probably can't don't eat, eat him. that. Yeah. Um. Uh, I don't. Gardonus. I don't know that. But I'll bet that wattle is uh, harvested as a. Uh, as uh, folk medicine. Yeah. Duckbill dapple, that's not a bird. No. no. Well, that's, that's feels, yeah, okay. Well, then again, neither is Zuni bird, but it says bird right Duck there. Duckbill dapple would probably fall under, oh, no. No, I don't know. know. Yeah. Uh, well, here's some cloven feet. Oh, yeah, so aqua walker, that would be, might be okay. Can you, wait, but mm, I guess it depends if, if it's, it, if it's aquatic, you can only eat if it has scales, right? Oh, right. And I, you might say it has scales. It could. It's hard to tell. From are this turtles picture. kosher? I don't. I don't believe they are. Oh, okay. I, I think because their scales are the kind of they don't overlap. So oh, I don't think they count. okay. Huh. I, I, I could be wrong though. You no, know, this is getting very much into the uh, you know a featherless biped with flat nails to pick. Yeah. Kind of thing. Um, but anyway, yeah. On our fast, final page. Thinking he had seen the zoo, Garfield wandered home for a well-deserved nap. <laughs> but did little he? did he know. Like I like the appearance of a uh, quid and aqua walker yes. at the end. Um, the, they knew that they would be uh, fan favorites. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at quid right yeah, here. He's just like, he's <laughs> he, he's you pretty smug. Out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Aqua Walker looks like he's uh, just, you know, he's banging out. Yeah, he, he's just enjoying the day. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was actually pretty. That was pretty amazing. It really is. It's um, one of those. It's almost unfortable. So who who is actually the brains behind this? Is this Jim Davis created or just, by Jim okay. Davis, illustrated by Mike Fence and Dave Kuhn? But it okay. doesn't say written by Dave, Jim Davis. Well, I guess it does. It says Library of Congress catalog and publication data. Davis Jim. Okay. So, so that is interesting that, because um, uh, I was like, this is too good to just be random pause, you know, interim. Yeah. Um, it is very interesting how Jim Davis, even though we, we know him as just like 
He made Garfield, who <laughs> likes lasagna and hates Mondays. When he kind of gets into his elements, he really has some, some yeah, wacky you know, ideas. He's, he's not an untalented cartoonist. I mean, most of those, most of the things like this and like the uh, the things credited to him in uh, the in Garfield and his Nine Lives, mm -hmm. he did draw them. He does, yeah. You know, he he can draw funny cats and you know very funny animals. So this. So on the cover, this is Ig. This yeah. must be Tragoon. Right, but who's our uh, who's our guy back know. then? I see, I see whiskers and I see scales. All right. Hmm. So let's see who's uh, uh maybe Leelander. No. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Oh, maybe it's Yuguk. Oh yeah, that would that would work. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. guess that's the only one we got there. Uh huh. Huh. So Garfield A to Z, that's probably the best of the uh, the Garfield, what is this series Of this called? collection, the Garfield mini storybooks. Yeah. Now you said you had Garfield the Pirate? Right, which is a pretty standard pirate story, okay. you know. As Garfield is has a dream that he's a pirate. Um, he So does he have a dream in all of these? Let's see. I wonder. Well, I assume, actually, you know what? Um... Book of the Seasons is probably just Garfield learning the meaning of winter, so oh, that's probably yeah. very normal. Darn, I was hoping you'd hit his head and start dreaming of weird seasons. Like, <laughs> like Sminter, when carrots fall from the sky. <laughs> you know what? I shouldn't, I shouldn't um, uh, slander Garfield by, or Jim Davis by assuming that he included a book in here that's completely mundane. Because considering the content of the rest of the series, it is entirely possible that Garfield is having vivid hallucinations in every single book. <laughs> These are just the hallucinations he's having while he starves to death in an abandoned house. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot for listening. And hey, if you like hearing me and Mike babble about nothing while we're trying to talk about comic strips, you should listen to our podcast, Special Presentation, or Elf Will Not Be Seen Tonight. 